Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you're well. So tomorrow, Monard is launching their main net. It's pretty hyped. Solana is dead. BSC is dead. Ethereum is dead. So this is probably where most people are going to go. You have probably from experience about two weeks to actually make money on the chain before everyone ruins it. So there'll be some runners on there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your wallet correctly, get onto the main net and also bridge over some funds. So you can't actually acquire Monard. I've looked very deep today. There are There is a bit of Monard floating around. People received airdrops. One of my friends even offered me some Monard if I want. I said, oh, I'll just wait for tomorrow. But we're going to set up our wallet. We're going to bridge some funds over. And then I'm going to show you exactly what you should be looking for and what I'm probably going to be doing as well. And spoiler alert, I am going to be LP farming it probably on Solana, depending on how the launch goes. So first of all, what I've been looking at is the tokens that have launched. This one seems to be the one doing OK. I'm not recommend buying in it. I'm not going to touch anything at the moment. But there are some tokens on here that are doing OK. Similarly, there is a tiny bit of volume coming through on some of these tokens. I mean, this one's got 1 1.5. This one's a mascot. So these are the type of things that are going to do OK. But again, I don't really trust it. So people have managed to set up USDC pools. And if, whether you've got some dust in Monad, you can deploy and you can set up your own token even before launch. But first of all, you want to set up your wallet. So this is the, the sort of, I'll leave this in the description as well. And I'll have a Telegram post doing uh, everything, showing you how to sort of set up your wallet. So copy this and you want to head over to networks and add a custom network. So I've already got it added, but you want to type in Monard. You want to put your RPC in here. And you want to put 124, 143 and then your block explorer. So we'll just quickly do that. 143. There'll be different RPCs anyway. And you want to add Mon and in your block explorer like so. Simple stuff. Yeah, so if you haven't set up your wallet and I've already added it, so that's why it's showing like that. But once you've added it, you'll be okay. Then you'll be on Monad. You can go here and you'll be able to check it. I think I've got it set up in another. Let's go over to another wallet here and on the popular, oh, it's in the popular page. So Monard's here and we've got $1 averaged over. So let's say you want to send some funds over. I use the portal wormhole. This is the only way I've found so far. So you'll just click simply go to here, connect your wallet and you'll click. If you want to send it from Solana, you'll just put Solana at the top like so it will come from your phantom wallet and then you'll select which wallet it goes to so i want monard and you want to send like so and you'll have my metamask connected that's how i done it send over whatever five dollars ten dollars and then you'll just confirm it there is a slight fee but it'll, it'll break down the fee for you it took me 15 seconds to bridge over so it's saying routing uh, through here 14 seconds estimated which is fine and then you'll have some more usdc in your wallet now if you go to swap so this is the this is the swap that's actually got the main net live quick swap or so uh, sorry do your own research swap do, do your swap there's another one it's probably going to be on uniswap is going to be the main one i'm predicting also pancake swap but i think most people are going to use uniswap uh, as the main one so if you go over to swap and you want to buy some you haven't got any monard to uh swap so if you can get some from somewhere i do have a friend that has some but like i said i'm not really interested but this swap has some tokens on it so let's see if it's going to be the main one but it doesn't have any v3 liquidity so it's only got v2 which is a bit a bit old school this is an old pancake swap from five years ago so i don't think it's going to do anything anyway so that's pretty much it for the video. What do I think Monard's going to do in terms of tomorrow? I probably think it's going to do OK. I was quite bearish on it. If the price action is OK in terms of the launch, I think we're going to have a little mini meme coin season, if I'm honest. So set up, do your thing. In terms of trading bots, I have found that good morning, good night. I'll leave my link in the description. You probably got an account with them. but 
they have Monard set up already, which is really good. So I'll be interested to see. So this is the an enterprise level trading bot. It's not really like uh, there's a few little ones people are shilling me uh, that I've seen on Telegram, but I don't really trust them if I'm honest. Stick with things that you're you know of if you're using a trading bot, because there will be some sharky activity going on. So definitely have a look, bridge over, and let's see how it goes. I might do nothing on the chain. I might just bridge straight off. So definitely have a look at it. Monad could be good, just based on this. It's doing okay. So. I wish you all the best. I'll leave all the links in the description anyway so you can have a look. I wish you all the best, guys, and take care.